Welcome back to GearWire.com. My name is Bill Holland, and we are once again looking at the M-Audio Exponent with Torque. I'm going to be looking today at looping and uh, some of the effects with this unit. In the uh, vein of disco re-edits, I've taken a classic Italo disco track, the It's a War track by Kano. I believe this is actually a remix or a re-edit, but I'm going to re-edit the re-edit. So first, uh, in the previous video, we went over all the controls. Uh, we also went over the looping tools for a second. Now we're going to focus in the looping tools and look at how to use these as a powerful remix tool. Uh, first, I'm going to set a four bar loop in one of the tracks. Okay, so we have a two bar loop now instead of a four bar loop. Now I'm going to play the second track. Now I'm going to now I'm going to show you how to take this loop. Now I'm going to show you how to take that and I'm going to uh, change up the loop size while it plays. I'm going to loop this side. If I hit the uh, loop button again for the loop I'm doing, turn off the sync button. Now I could also do that as like a straight cut, so I could turn this loop off. Again, if you want to get out of that, you should press the loop button again. Or if I turn this loop off, I can actually find this point in the other track. So if I go back here, let's figure out where that point is. Oh. Let's take it back real quick. Um, we're going to take this track way back to the beginning. If you uh, run into the situation, the actual individual tracks, turn off the MIDI use your XY controller and you can go up and reset it manually. They have a uh, waveform that's zoomed out all the way. So if I go back, I find where that crazy line comes in. And again, imagine that you're in headphones and you want to cue this up while the other track's playing. So other track's playing, I'm gonna unloop this. And you can be actually over here trying to find that same section in the song. And again, you can use the mouse if you really need to jump to it. There we go. Let's mark that. Wait for it. There it is. Now we have a loop. 